I can do a uh, quick tour of some uh, classic Dodges. You wouldn't expect that some of these cars are classics, but they all are. First, I'm going to show my 1997 Chrysler Intrepid. I've had this car for eight years. It's been a very dependable car. Right now, it needs a racket pinion and tie rods. As you can see, the tires are completely shot on the front. It's a oil and teal metallic paint, matched with a blue spruce interior, cloth interior. It has the 3.3 liter V6, 4.2 LE transmission. Soon needs a paint job. It's original paint, the clear coat is starting to weather. Same as the roof, the roof needs uh, roof needs a paint job and I got some, a couple rust spots here. I bought this car eight years ago. It was never winter driven, so I done the same thing. We have heavy salt up here, and as you can see, the car is in very good condition, rust wise. I always under uh, oil undercoat it. Interior is held up very well. Seats, technically, besides some staining, are uh, perfect condition. Like the color's gone, the color's uh, fade right here. That's not really staying. The color's pretty much gone on the seat, unlike this one. What like you say, 282,000. I've sat in this car a nice bit. I haven't done too much with this car really, but rear struts, an alternator, starting motor, rad and rad fan. The original 3.3 excellent engine original struts original wheel bearings besides the rear struts i think they changed to this m1 in 96. the next thing i'm going to show is my 1995 plymouth acclaim it's a three liter v6 with a three-speed automatic Bought this car with a seized up transmission. The rod going into the transmission, so it was stuck in drive. So I freed it all up, and now it's uh, runs and drives. Needs some brake work. I have the spare tires on my van, which I'll show now shortly. This car was winter driven, but it's in excellent condition being a Newfoundland car. Like we got a little bit of rust up here on the front fender. But that's all we got. It's a pretty loaded model. I wish it had the red interior, but it got uh, power locks, power mirrors, power windows. Got AC, don't know if it works. Only 128,493. I don't have this put back on yet because I had to put this shift cable back on because when the transmission seized, the previous owner broke it trying to shift it. It's filled up with some of my stuff now so you can't really get a, a good tour of the interior, sorry. I'll pop the bonnet. Oh, that was the trunk. Oh, well, I'll show the trunk too, I guess. It's just a, it's a small little trunk. There's really no space into it. Yeah, it has the 3-liter Mitsubishi V6. 
really clean underneath here. I got to hook up some of this stuff again. Like you say, I had to get at this uh, shift cable was all seized. As far as I know, it's all original. Mileage would tell me. Next is this uh, beautiful 1994 <clears throat> Chrysler LHS. It has a 3.5 liter V6. Honeycomb stall wheels. Another very good condition car. LHS was Chrysler's top of the line model. Pretty LH platform. So we have all leather interior, console shift, wood finish, power locks, mirrors, etc. This car is showing 200,000, 884. Beautiful back seat. No rust on the quarter panels. Not sure if I mentioned that this car has a tump, jump timing belt, which is unfortunate. But I oh, will put a timing belt on and get this thing back running on the road. It's been off the road since 2016. Owners put a computer, crank sensor, cam sensor, fuel pump, coil pack, trying to figure out the crank no start. I had done some simple diagnostics, had fuel, had spark, so she's winding over fast. Timing belt's busted. It's a non-interference engine, so it's not really a bad thing. <laughs> you can kind of tell it's been sat a while. 3.5, 24 valve. I also have a Concord LXI that I won't be showing in this video. But here's my daily driver, 1994 Plymouth Voyager. Bought this for $200 in a scrapyard. It has the... Um, a604 something like that transmission ultra glide force breeze it's a piece of trash i already had it rebuilt not the van's a piece of trash just that transmission itself is not a good transmission i used it last winter so what you see on the bottom of the lift gate here is fluid film that i haven't really washed off yet here's the other plymouth acclaim wheel I had a transmission rebuilt, some uh, a bearing. That's pretty much it. I rebuilt the alternator. I drove it for a year and a half. Never had no, uh, never had no issues with it. I bought it with 178. Now it's at 194, and I'm actually planning a 500, uh, 500k trip now Thursday. So this has been a dependable van. Not going to show the back seat, but I do have, well, I'll show it anyway, integrated car seats. So it's very convenient. Do a little cold start. It always ticks a little bit on startup. Transmission still works as of right now. I'm expecting to do a couple transmissions in this van over the next 10 or 15 years, however long it lasts. I only got one battery, so unfortunately I can't start the Intrepid or the Acclaim. And the LHS don't start anyway. But if you want to see any, any more of these uh, cars running, just shoot me a, a message in the comment section. All these cars are 30 years old now, so I'm doing my best to preserve them and keep them, keep them around. I, I wish I had my Concorde here to show, but the fuel pump's gone into it right now. So yeah, hit the like and subscribe button, and uh, I'm looking to add more crossers to my collection. Maybe a Dynasty, a New Yorker. Let me know what you think. The tracker's not mine; it's my brother's.